<laughs> Guys, here's our picture. So, a much brighter sky out there right now. You're going to do fine with your sky cover today, but it's just so much colder than yesterday. Yesterday was a mess of a day. Okay, granted, but it was 58 degrees for a high temperature. Right now, we are 37 degrees. The westerly winds are around 21 miles per hour. That plays a role in a bit of a wind chill out there. Temperature readings, well, 33 in Montgomery. You're 33 also in Wappingers Falls. Austin comes in 34. Newtown, Connecticut's 33. Terrytown, 34 degrees. Elsewhere, all around the area, you go out to the east end. Spion comes in at 38. We go over to Stanford, Connecticut, where it's 36. Spring Lake. Hello to my buddies that can 40s who live there. 35 degrees for Spring Lake. Chatham comes in at 34 degrees as of right now. High temperature will be 44. All right. So when you look at how it stacks up to a typical day this time of the year, we should hit 49. Nope, we're going to be 44. So we're off the mark there. Sun rises at 701. 16 minutes from now, it will set at 429. Taking a peek at what it's going to be feeling like at the warmest time of your day when you catch one of those wind gusts. Wind gusts do not blow all day long, but they could be gusting, you know, at 25, maybe 30 mile per hour winds. So you're 44 degrees, as I showed you, for your high temperature. All right, but it feels potentially like 34 if you catch that wind, feeling like, my goodness, feeling like only 20 if you catch that wind up in Monticello at that point in time. 31 out on the east end of Long Island. Here's how everything is going to be progressing. Right now, look at that, a couple of little snowflakes flying through. You know, there's Sullivan, Ulster County, a little bit into maybe Dutchess. And then look at that, that same flow gets to the ocean. Ocean temps, okay, it's warmer above the ocean than it is right now above the land. So. Whatever was frozen turns to just rain out around Block Island. And believe it or not, that's all. Look at that. That's all related. It's crazy we're even talking about. Those are lake effect. Little stragglers making their way into portions of our area. It's not going to amount to anything for us, of course. <laughs> a couple weeks ago, it amounted to seven and a half, six and a half feet around Buffalo. Here's our next weather maker. It's way out around Northern California, stretching up to Idaho. This is going to give us a rain chance on Saturday. So a lot of this has to do with temperatures going up and down. Here's what we see for today. Basically clear skies out there. This is 4.30 in the afternoon. Getting into your day on Friday. Clear skies again. Eh, it's cold. 47 degrees for a high temperature. You get to Saturday. Saturday, wet weather comes into the area. You're going to be warm on Saturday, but behind it, you're clear for Sunday and so much colder. Here's how it all comes together. It looks like this. 44 to for today, 47 Friday, 58 with a rain chance on Saturday. So it's mild, right? But it's wet. 45 comes Sunday. It's that up and down sort of thing we see when cold fronts come to town. Chris and Mary, it's all yours. Okay, like